Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video. Today I am going to speak about a topic that nobody talks about, and that's uh, let's say it, it, I don't know if I'm well, I don't give any more details anyway. I'm gonna talk about um, something intimate, uh, not me, but in just in general, so don't take it with a grain of salt. Um, so I've been um, a year, a year and a few weeks on hormone replacement therapy, and I've, I've noticed some changes. Uh, I know I didn't discuss them in um, my one year, and it doesn't make sense why I wouldn't do it there. But um, I was feeling sick, and I couldn't record that much. So let's say this: first of all, um, you when you transition and you start transitioning, you can have the mentality and this happened to me before I even transitioned. Don't go into YouTube and watch people transitioning or timeline because trust me that that's depressing to see. Like you're happy for them but because you haven't started the process yet, you kind of like say, ah I wish it was me. And it kinda of, it kind of gets um to the point of yeah it's annoying, you know, it's it's annoying. So that will be my first tip. Um, don't focus on all the people transition because as I mentioned before over time um, one genetics plays a huge role age also plays a huge role on your transition and that's pretty much it so what do I mean I'm gonna cover it by age so age I, I don't want to discriminate anybody that has transitioned at the later stage or an early stage or whatever. It's just in general. So transitioning plays with AIDS as well. So um, once you turn like 30, around 30, well, to be honest, not, not even that because I've, I've seen people transitioning at that age and they look amazing. So I, I don't know. I don't think AIDS has a like the weight or how fast you're going to transition or how good you're going to look. Um, obviously, uh, the younger you do it, the, apparently the better. I, I don't have any evidence or anything, so don't come at me. Uh, the, the other thing that I should mention is when you're transitioning, you don't need to do it for anybody. Like, you don't need to do it for your nan, for your mother, for your dad, nothing like that. It's all on you. So obviously it's, it's hard, it's hard uh, to come to terms. Most of my difficult transition was before getting on HRT. One, dealing with dysphoria. Two, what I said at the beginning, watching transition timelines and you are not even in the process or seeing the light of transitioning. That's like the worst thing you can do. Trust me. The other thing I should mention is when you transition, the first few months is more your mental health than physically in your body. So when I started taking HRT, uh, like, yeah, I saw a little bit of changes, but at the end of the day, my my mind, like, just, how do, how do I explain this? Okay, let's say this is all cloudy, right? And then it just all cleared up, all my thoughts came you know, normal, and I didn't think about suicide. I have attempted suicide, by the way, uh, twice. Uh, I need to kill myself the third attempt. Uh, yeah, I've been really bad, so that's how bad I was before starting HRT. Now, after a year, I couldn't be happier. Uh, to be honest, um, life is looking good for me. I know some people are like in a sit hole, and I'm sorry, and I hope I can help you with this video, but um, honestly, what will help me through everything is um, just having a diary available. I write in my in a diary, so it, it, it's kind of um, it's kind of helpful to write in a diary and like I don't know, like maybe one day once I get to a hundred subs or something, I'll. When I get to a hundred shops, I may react to my diary, like some entries, obviously I'll add it and everything, so I'm not going to put the strongest depressive out there, but maybe one of my happy days, 
maybe just to help. Now, let's talk about the physical of it. So, first of all, physically, um, obviously my breasts have closed. I have lost muscle mass. Well, I didn't even have muscle mass to start with, but I lost it. I lost strength as well. So, I, I don't know if you know this, but as a trans woman, um, before you start, obviously, and you, and let's presume you went through puberty, um, I, 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 I was never a, a person that did a lot of weightlifting or anything, but I've, I've heard that uh, people regret um, going to the gym and everything because at the end of the day, once you start HRT, it's really hard to down the, the muscle that you grow here. You know when you when you tense up and it's like a big muscle here? If you have a bit, the bigger the muscle, the more difficult it is to... Um, I, I don't know if you can even lose it, to be honest. I, and I'm not gonna research it, okay? Maybe my editor, maybe my editor puts a message right here, I, I don't know. Anyway, um, the, the other thing I've noticed is, I've noticed that through a whole year, um, obviously on my seven month, uh, I cut my hair, but listen me out. I didn't cut it because I wanted to, I cut it to um, honor somebody in my family that I loved really much, and obviously I saved my hair off. Now, I'm not gonna do it again. But um, the other question I get a lot is if you are transitioning and you're bald, like, you know. Um, it, it, it's kind of hard to say when you're bald because apparently, yes, some of your hair grow back. But if you're a bald, most of the people wear wigs. And there's no same wearing wigs. I mean, I wear a wig, I'm not gonna lie, like in this picture right here. I used to wear this wig when, um, pretty much when, uh, what do you say, when I had shorter hair. Um, the other thing is, I'm gonna, I decided to show you some pre-transition photos of me doing my makeup and everything. I look horrible, but that's what I had at hand. Like, um, sadly, um, I am so thankful for people that helped me, but obviously it's hard. Because, you know, at that time, um, I didn't have money to buy stuff, so I had to go to my friend's house to get makeup. And obviously, the, um, the sister is, you know, not uh, my skin color, so it kind of looked awful. But uh, the concept was that there was an last last attempt, and I'm thankful for that. But I still have the photo, I need to look it up, but I'm going to do a timeline right now after I, I finish with it, with free photos of me trying to be, well not trying, like I want, like this is how I am, how I feel, but at the time it felt so like an imposter, like I, hmm, I don't know, but I have a story after this, this um, timeline you're gonna see, uh, and the last photo that you're gonna see is the one I'm gonna speak after you see this, okay so let's start with the timeline. So, you see this photo of me meeting in the red dress? Yeah, there's a story all behind that. So, basically, uh, I went to Pride with one of my friends. And obviously, from my local town to the center of Madrid, I couldn't just go 
you know, already because, you know, my personal support it and they wouldn't allow me. So, what did I do? I bought some clothes and I went to a uh, court in glass. That's, I don't know what, boob. it's like a soapy, I don't freaking know. And um, I went to the guy's toilet, bathroom, with my friend. And we, it, it sounds so weird what I'm gonna say, but it happened. We both close, like we were both in one stool, right? Doing our makeup. Well, me and he was helping me to do my makeup. So after a while, right? Uh, the, <laughs> you you say this is a good thing, but it was really not the best timing. So I was already like, already mostly done. I just needed the lipstick and the eyeliner and that's it. And suddenly I hear like a loud knock at the store, right? And a deep ass voice saying, hey, get out. Girls are not allowed, you need to go to the girls' bathroom. I get out, I see the car, and I'm like, I don't even talk, I just take my stuff and I go to the girls' room, to the ladies' bathroom, whatever. And I just walk in, and there's like a straight line of, 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 of ladies, just, I, I don't know what they were doing, but they, they were just looking at the mirror, fixing the hair, and I'm just there like, fix, fixing my lipstick. Oh my god. Like, people didn't know because apparently I have like a really high voice anyway, so they didn't expect me to be a guy. You know? Uh, so that was a great, great, great thing. So, jumping today, after a whole year, when I go out, um, I, it, it's hard, but I, I'm gonna say this. The least effort I tried past the more I get my pronouns correct. The more I try to pass, the, they, they look at me and it's like, you are no, you're trans, you know? So I'm just not gonna even try. What's the point? Anyway, I'm ending my video now, but I have a friend that needs um, help and we've been talking about it. Uh, her her name is Nicole Casey. She's gonna go found me. Uh, obviously, I'm not gonna explain everything, but it's basically well, she's a 23 year old trans girl, and basically, um, what you need to do is click the link below, and it will take you to go found me. And there's the story that she wrote, and you decide to donate or not. I'm not obligating anybody to donate. But it would be great if I could build a community to help people to get what they need. So please share this video if you can't donate it. And help me out, help her out, and let's make this a better community. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!